Tonight we are dining at Sear and Sea Wood Fire Grill at JW Marriott Bonnet Creek. We've actually been here before, but we had to come back again. And if you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So since this is our second time here at CRNC, we decided that we needed to try all new items on the menu, so we did not order anything that we had last time we were here. And mac so, and well, besides the mac and cheese, because it was awesome. That's a side dish. <laughs> so for our appetizer tonight, we decided to get the octopus, and it is fantastic. So this appetizer is octopus with crispy potato, chimichurri, and aji amarillo. They told us that this is a very popular appetizer here, which I think the reason being is because it's not something that you can get everywhere. And that excites me about a dish because I like to try unique food. But the octopus is cooked really well. It's got a nice char on the outside, gives it a little bit of crispiness on there, but then there's some really nice flavors. Um, just the octopus itself without any of the sauce is actually really good. It's nice and tender on the inside. Um, but I do like the added flavors with the chimichurri and with the Amarillo sauce. Um, there's a little crispy potato in there too. And I mean, presentation overall was awesome as well. So, I mean, if you like to be adventurous, this is definitely an appetizer I would try. Compliments of the chef. Uh, he brought out a tuna crudo. This is actually new from the last time that we were here. And what's really special about this is that they are trying to infuse the bar outside, which is a gin bar, which we mentioned earlier, with a lot of the flavors of uh, the tuna in here. And so what they do is they not only soak the tuna for 45 minutes in gin, but they also soak peppercorns um, for at least 48 hours before they dehydrate it again in gin. So. What's really amazing about this is that uh, they kind of create this nice pepper jam from that. So it's sweet, but still is very aromatic. But then also the tuna also has these nice juniper uh, notes in it as well. And th this is just like an amazing dish. Um, it's crazy. You get a little bit of saltiness from the caviar. You get a nice sweetness from the pepper jam. Now, one thing to mention that this is raw tuna, so keep that in mind, but um, it's fantastic. The other thing that is served on top of it, which kind of hides everything, is that uh, lemon foam, which just helps add like a little bit more of like a citrus to it. But I honestly would have never ordered this ever because I'm not like a huge fan of like straight up raw tuna or caviar. And I'm really glad that he brought this out because um, I would 100% order this again. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, so for our entrees tonight, I went with something that's very new. Um, they didn't have this last time. It was the Providence Cattle Ribeye. Uh, this is a 16 ounce ribeye, it's $66. I had prepared uh, medium rare. I actually got an accompaniment with it, which I really didn't need to get. I don't know what I was thinking, other than that I really like blue cheese and I really like fried onions, or crispy onions, and I got that. I didn't need it. Um, the steak itself was perfect, just the way it was without it. Um, I don't know, you might be like, oh my gosh, Josh got a steak. Well, I don't know why, but I was really like in between a fish or a steak, and I guess I just decided to go with the steak tonight. Um, but it was good, super tender, prepared really nicely, nice crisp on the outside from the grill, uh, still nice and tender on the inside. Something I think is really cool, we didn't get to experience this last time, because it may now be new, was they salted and peppered the plate a little bit differently. So they actually bring that out and they do a Himalayan sea salt and they actually like, you know, break it down right at the table. Uh, and then they also do pepper and they do that uh, freshly ground at here at the table. And the peppercorns, like I had mentioned earlier, are um, the ones that are soaked in gin for 48 hours and then they're uh, dehydrated again. So uh, pretty cool, good. I think it just adds a little bit more flair to the restaurant. It adds a little more flair to the dish. CRNC Woodfire Grill is more of that classic steakhouse where you get sides to share. Um, and they don't necessarily come with your entree. So to share, which we got two different things, which we didn't need to do, but I always like to try something out. We got Brussels sprouts. Uh, these are honey miso glaze frocke and bonito flakes. I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, 14 bucks, really, really good. Um, not at all what I was expecting the Brussels sprouts to come out like. Um, I was definitely expecting them to be more on the grilled side, I suppose, but the way that these were prepared were just amazing. Nice crunchiness, still tender on the inside. 
um, and almost flaky on those outer layers of the Brussels sprout. So, fantastic. For my entree tonight, I had one of the signature dishes. This is the A5 Wagyu strip from Japan, and it is served with seasonal accompaniments. And tonight, it was actually bok choy prepared three different ways, raw, preserved, and roasted. And then it also has a carrot and mustard puree on the side. I think between the tuna and the Wagyu that I've had tonight, this kind of verified for me that this is one of my favorite restaurants and probably one of the places I've had some of the best meals of my life. <laughs> it's amazing. And I just, I can't even, the steak was so perfect, so tender, literally melted in your mouth. And I did get some of the pepper on there and the Himalayan salt, which I love Himalayan salt with a Wagyu like this. Just fantastic. Like I can't even describe it anymore. It was just the best thing I've ever had. The bok choy was also pretty amazing. Um, I haven't had bok choy a whole lot in my life, but had a nice little bit of crunch to it. It's just the texture of the bok choy itself. Um, it really wasn't super salty. It just had a nice flavor of the bok choy itself. Underneath, there was like a little bit of vinaigrette in there, which I really liked. It was almost kind of like a little salad, if you will. And I think it kind of helped balance out a little bit of heaviness that comes from that Wagyu. Not that it's a really heavy dish, but I just think all around, this was a perfect entree. All right, guys. Well, we just finished eating dinner once again at Sear and C here at JW Marriott, Orlando Bonnet Creek. And it was really good. It was really good. I know we are, we just did the dining review like a couple weeks ago back in October, but um, I just want to re-highlight the fact that this is a signature style restaurant that is mm -hmm. still something that you are going to know, but still is something that you can be adventurous with. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's just unique enough that mm -hmm. you can try some new things while still kind of being safe. Yeah. So um, I know people are probably wondering what the total price was, especially with Taylor's Wagyu beef, um, which was at market price value. Um, so for total for dinner tonight, it was about $350. And people might be <laughs> like, whoa. Um, but that is really mainly due to the fact that Taylor and got steak. steak, which was $150, I think, something like that. So um, it's all in the way that just to Google search how Wagyu beef in Japan is like. Uh, apparently the Wagyu <laughs> beef that Taylor had had one person take care of it its entire life. That, counts. that was mm -hmm. the story that we were told. So whether that's, that's true or not, I don't know. I didn't get to, to eat any of it. Taylor ate it all. She says that it was well worth the price. Um, he was offered a bite and he declined. But it is a fantastic restaurant. Again, signature mm -hmm. style. It is going to be a mm -hmm. little bit more pricey, but you're really paying for... Um, an experience. An experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By all means. Yeah. And we don't splurge like this on our meals all right. the time. So some every once in a while, you know, having a meal like this is... Yeah. Kind of exciting. It is. So let us know if you plan on trying out Sear and C here at JW Marriott Bonnet Creek.